Hi guys, Frostfangs here, and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video on the PTS at 3am. Again, that sounds kind of like a clickbait title, but it's actually what we're going to be doing. We're going to be playing some Atlas today, even though he didn't get a skin. He did technically get some gameplay changes, they're just really, really small. I'm kind of using this more of an excuse to make an Atlas video, because it's been a while. I think it's been three or four months since I last covered him, so this is where I get to talk about his new small changes, and also, you know, make an updated video on him. As for his two small changes, Chrono Cannon has gone from taking 1.5 seconds to fully charged to... 1.4 i don't know how noticeable this is going to be because i haven't actually tried it out in a game but considering it's 0.1 seconds i don't suppose it's going to make too big of a difference but i imagine over the course of a game it will mean you'll get a little bit more damage off and then the one that'll probably make a bit more of a difference is setback which has had its cooldown pulled down from 12 to 10 which is also i guess a kind of passive buff to deja vu which is kind of what i'll be playing with today unless we go for temporal divide depending on the map obviously neither of those changes have really affected the loadouts frame i imagine these still are going to be the same i haven't really changed them much i don't think since the last video i made but i I don't even remember what I used three months ago, so I can't really tell you, but we've got Lost Legacy, which if I do remember correctly, I had in the setup. Same with Old Wounds, so we have a heal and also extra health. We've then also got Beyond the Veil for movement speed when we go through our queue. Works really well, obviously, with the Titan that buffs out the size of it. Then we also have Hellhunter, which means you can have infinite ammo as long as you're landing your shot and fully charging it. Paradox for a tiny bit of cooldown reduction on the F, and then this one is the exact same, which just has Beyond the Veil pulled down by two. Then Lost Legacy and Old Wounds are up from four to five each. So yeah, I guess that's it for the intro. Let's we'll go ahead and jump into a match. I'm kind of coming to the end of the things now that I want to cover. I do still have two or three things that I want to make videos on, but if there's anything else, just feel free to let me know in the comments, but make sure you check what I've already done just so that you don't suggest saying that I've made a video on already. All right, well, for game one, we've got TDM Magistrate's Archives. Was TDM Magistrate's Archives before? I thought you could only get Onslaught or King of the Hill on Magistrate's Archives. Either way, I'm pretty sure this is the first time I've shown off the new Magistrate's Archives, so I guess it adds a little bit of spice to uh, the video. Shoutouts to Internal War. We played with him the other day. I am obviously still playing on NA because it's like 4 a.m. No one's playing on EU. Like I said in my other videos on the PTS, it's usually not as populated on EU you anyway but at this sort of time it's basically impossible for the teams we've got talus we've got corvus drogos and a fury we're up against the Ceres, a koga a talus a corvus and a damba so they have triple support double flank we have i guess damage flank tank double support i guess we have a better setup here but it is tdm so this isn't the best situation for atlas like i said i don't actually know if tdm was available on magistrate's case before if i remember correctly it didn't used to be an option i don't think but we'll go ahead and grab deja vu and then the extra health setup here for sure obviously we're starting out with some core we've got worm jets faustian bug and spreading influence should be nice Cherish, Faustian Bug, and Stunning Visage, Spirits Chosen, and Adrenaline Junkie. Hello, Talus. There's my Q, so we can kind of fight on the right here. I'll go ahead and hit a rewind on both of them. Free kill. Oh, thank you very much. We are playing with a little bit of lag, obviously, but that's a free double straight off the back. Just going to be throwing out rewinds kind of as much as possible, just because it is a lob and it's only on 10 second cooldown, so I might as well. I have got the F up if I need it, but we're kind of doing fine. There's a rewind for uh, the Ceres. There's my rewind. I don't know why I even bothered to rewind her, but there is the Q. I'm totally gone. I'm kind of juking a little bit here. I'm kind of surprised I survived for as long as I have Jesus Christ there's a rewind for the Koga he is actually nearly gone freaking landed that shot as well bang on there's one for the freaking Talus not a Talus it's a Maldamber and I know it is I'm just terrible with names there's my rewind for him because I'm pretty sure he was really really low yeah there we go there's the shot there's my F can we finish him off or can we kill the Koga at least can I just get rid of one person here the amount of CC I'm being hit with Jesus Christ okay that's the Koga gun for an all okay there's a rewind on him kind of unnecessarily that should guarantee the kill there that's kind of the play I've been making over and over again there's a shot there is my F to avoid that there's my q there's the alt so we can banish this ceris there's the rewind on the ceris which actually works when she's banished that's something i've just learned today i don't know why i'm trying to hide in here this isn't a spawn it's tdm i don't think i've ever played tdm on my state archives before so this this must be noob could be wrong with that though feel free to correct me if i am i did just use my f but na servers of course i'm not gonna be able to pull that off in freaking tight situations like that we are seemingly stuck in here there's my thing there's a shot there's a rewind where's he going he's going over there okay there's another one he is gone well done team there's a shot onto the talus he's nearly out oh, he's got like no health there we go there is the rewind. It'd be cool if I could also get ammo gen with the rewind. That'd be sick. There is a rewind on to the Koga. There's a shot for him. I don't know how the hell he dodged that. I am totally dead any second. I feel like I'm putting up a good fight. I'm just still getting a little bit battered. There's the Q. Okay, never mind. That's a stun. There's a rewind for him and a rewind for myself. I don't think I hit the Corvus. I, I don't know. There's hits onto the Koga. There is another one. I missed nearly all of that. I am totally dead here. Or maybe we're fine. Why am I floating around? I don't know. Thank you for the ammo. There's a rewind on one or two people. There's a shot for her. There is another one. On. She's out. This is such a messy game. Thank you, Cause, for the heals. I feel like he's kept me alive way more than I've given him credit for. Go ahead, pop the ult, banish the Maldamba. Sure, there's a banish on the Koga. Cool, he got stunned there as well. Don't really know what my plan is here. That is the ult from the Damba. There is my rewind. There's an ult from the 
Corvus, which I don't think I was getting affected by. I keep forgetting names, but I don't know why I wasn't taking damage from that. I don't think it was a friendly one. There goes the enemy Corvus. There's some shots into the Talus. He's playing very aggressively, but he's gone. I don't know how we're losing this game by 10 kills, to be honest. There is a rewind. I don't know how much health he had. Pretty much the same. That was useless. There's a rewind on to the Koga. I don't know why I keep rewinding people who have full health. There's a little cheeky shot through to the Corvus. Can we get another one? Yes, we can. Honestly, I didn't think 0.1 seconds would make a difference, but I can actually tell that it's charging faster, which is, yeah, really, really strange to me because I didn't think I'd even pick up on it. Rewind onto the Damba. There is my rewind. Thank you for 3k health back. There is an attempted Q. We'll throw it just there. Corvus is on no health, but so is, I think, the Ceres just here. I, I don't know. This Koga's nearly gone. There we go. Did I call Corvus Koga a minute ago? I don't know. I'm terrible with names. There's a shot. There's a rewind on two people. Sure, there's another shot on him. I'm basically using it. I'm basically using my rewind to set up a free shot for myself, and it's actually kind of working. He is gone because we've got a ton of cauterize. Finish off resilience. He's going for the ult here for sure. Never mind. He's gone. We managed to shut him down before he got a chance to actually pull anything off. There is a rewind for, I think, the entire enemy team. We did kind of help them out a little bit there. Fury went for uh, the ult. We probably could have wiped them if I maybe timed that a bit better. There is my rewind. That is Coke going for the ult. I placed myself in such a shit spot. Jesus Christ. There is a double rewind. Okay, sure. Thank you, Cause, for these heals. That is like two people on me, though. So I'm, I'm totally dead. If we can shoot him as soon as he's out of it. There we go. He is gone. No, he actually got out there. Let's finish him off, please. There we go. Let's also get rid of this Damber. Never mind. There's the defeat, but there's a little spray on the bottom. I've never seen anybody do that before, other than I think once on like Dragon's Call or something. But yeah, there we go. Game one. So yeah, here we go. There are these stats. Felt a little bit weird starting off an Atlas video with a TDM on a map that I've never played TDM on before. But yeah, here we go. We'll go through from top to bottom. Fury did pretty good. Corvus did a good job. I'd say Drogos did all right. I'd say Talos was definitely the person doing the best there, though. 58k he has highest damage other than their Koga. I feel like I also did pretty decent. 12, 6, 50k. I'll take that. On their side, Zeros did pretty good. Koga definitely did the best. Talos also did pretty decent. Corvus did all right. And I guess the Damber did fine. Honestly, I'd say everybody in that match played well, but they had just a slight advantage. All right, well, for game two, we've got TDM Magistrates Archives again. We've got Tiberius, same guy from the last game, a Koga, a Corvus, and a Drogos. They must have upped the percentage of it coming up, because in like the entire time I was playing the PTS before today, this is my first time playing with it today, I didn't get Magistrates Archives come up, I think, more than once, and I've just now had two in a row on TDM. So I don't really know. We'll go for Deja Vu again, and then the same setup. It worked pretty well last time. Going to, of course, start off with some Cauterize. Their team is Damba with Spritz Chosen, Sarah's with Soul Collector, Curse of Volver, Andro, Stunning Visage, Corvus, Street Justice, Mave, then we've got Adrenaline Janky Worm, Jet, Stunning Visage again, and Tigan's Fury. This might be the same people from the last game. I don't know. Shout outs to uh, Dippy. That was the Koga. Thank you for a free 600. There goes the Corvus. Nice. Yeah, the team comps are weirdly similar. So I don't know if they're the same people from the last game. I honestly couldn't tell you. I don't remember names well enough to be able to say that for sure. There is a rewind. Did we actually lob that in a good spot? I feel like I did, but I also don't know if I hit anybody. There is some damage on to the Mave. Hello, Androxus. Why am I playing aggressively? I don't know. There is a rewind. There is my air. F. Nice, Corvus is gone, and so is the Andro. I'm just kind of playing around my wall. There goes the Mave. Thank you for the heals team. Corvus is just hitting me with mad heals right now. I'm just kind of spamming shots into the dam, but that's the stun. There's the rewind. Just got all of my health back. There is a Q. Pretty damn well placed, if I do say so myself. There is a lobbed rewind. Actually hit the Ceres with that. Not that that really helps me very much. There's a hit for her. Let's see if we can get another one. Cool. Can I get a third one to maybe finish her off? No, that was on the dam, but hello, Mave. I don't know exactly what your plan is. They seem to be getting kind of stuck in spawn like we were in the last game. That definitely seems to be an issue. There is my F. There is the rewind. I'm pretty sure I just caught a Ceres ult inside of my Q, which is funny. We also rewound a couple people. There is another shot. I'm playing as like a freaking sniper Atlas right now. It's working out great. There's a headshot onto the Corvus for a kill. I'm feared, but I'm walking into a wall, so that's perfectly fine. Don't know why he chose to throw that. That's a little bit weird. Hopefully, before Magistrates Archives goes into live, they fix the spawns because they're getting kind of spawn trapped there. Luckily, we're not really abusing it too much, but I could see that definitely being an unfun situation in like normal games. There goes the Andro. Let's also get a hit onto her. So we don't have to worry about reloading. Corvus is going in for the ult. There is my rewind. It seems like it doesn't deal damage if I rewind into it. That must be a bug because that doesn't happen with most ultimates. There is another shot. This card is coming in clutch right now. I still haven't reloaded. How did she not take damage? There's a rewind. That should put her right down to like no health. Can we finish her off, please? Oh my god, she's on nothing. Let's get rid of the damber. No, why are so many people escaping? I'm dead. I had my rewind on like one second cooldown. Damn it. Well, that was cheesy. There's a shot on to the Ceres. Let's get another one onto her. There we go. Kind of surprised that one actually landed. Landed. Let's get hit on to the Mave. Never mind, missed that one. Let's finish her off though. Yeah, there we go. Let's also get rid of the Damber. Thank you for the double. That is Ceres going for the grab. I don't really know why. Used my rewind. I'm getting a little bit battered here. Let's finish off the Ceres. Now she went into her thing. Thank you, Corvus, for uh, the heals. There's a shot onto her. Hello, enemy Corvus. There's a shot and a rewind onto him. Never mind, he's already dead. Seems to be going in a very similar direction to the last match. There is a double rewind. Oh, Corvus kind of was going to get a double there. I kind of messed it up from there. There's a Q and an F. I did the animation. It still killed me. There's a Q for the Tiberius for a speed buff and also so he doesn't get hit. Missed that shot on the Ceres by like a little bit. There's another one. She's gone into 
Uh, Invis, no idea where she's gone though, because she's got the speed buff. There's a freaking 1122 headshot. There's a rewind onto just the Andra, and maybe the Maeve as well. I was just about to get that shot. There's my rewind. Hello, Ceres. I'm behind you now. Okay, there's her Invis. Go ahead and pop the ult, because why not? There's a banish. I don't know how that didn't banish you. I'm confused. Okay, there's a banish for her. There's a banish for him. Said that backwards, but whatever. There's my Q. There's a hit onto the Damba, who was stunned somehow. There's a rewind onto the Ceres, which didn't happen, because I guess it doesn't go upstairs properly. There's a rewind for the Ceres. There's a hit onto the Damba. How the hell was that not a headshot? But okay, there is the pull from Ceres. I'm going to go ahead and finish off Resilience real quick while she pulls me. There's a rewind for her. I was just about to use mine, but maybe that'll get Ceres killed. Like I said, this is going to be nearly an exact repeat of game one because we're going to lose by like 10 kills. Yeah, there is the defeat. The lag was helpful sometimes, hurtful other times. And I feel like I played pretty much the same. I had some decent plays, but I probably could have done a little bit better. And yeah, there we go. There are the stats for game two. Pretty much the exact same as game one. We'll go through them top to bottom. Corvus did pretty good. Tiberius shredded. He did a great job. I feel like I did find 7536k. Honestly, not too bad considering the situation there when you compare us to the rest. Drogos had a bit of a tough time. Koga had a bit of a tough time. Then on their side, Andrew did pretty good. Damba did pretty decent. Same with the Ceres. May have not so much. And then Corvus also did pretty good. Pretty much an exact replay of game one. Let's go ahead and re and hope that we don't get another TDM Magistrate's Archives because honestly, two in a row is really, really strange. But I guess that's made the new map maybe a focus of this video. I don't freaking know. All right, well, for game three, we've got Siege Shadow Desert. Shoutouts to HugK007 and also Mugle, who I've definitely played with before. We've got a Corvus, a Leonatalis, and a Barak, so double tank with a Corvus, then a damage and a flank, and then for the enemy team, we're up against the Vivian, who was in the last two games, a Corvus, a Terma Makoa, and a Ceres. So they have double tank, double support, and a damage. I feel like double support is just a thing I see in all of my games on the PTS at this point, or double tank, or both sometimes, like we got freaking today. Although I would definitely say that Shadow Desert Siege is a better setup than the last two games we've had. I'm probably still going to go for Deja Vu just because it makes landing that right click way easier, and they have double tank, and this way we can rewind multiple people just makes more sense we've got spreading influence which is good eminence architectronics inner strength dark gift soul collected decimation half shell and opportunity in chaos i'm going to start out with chrono so do i want to start out with cauterize i don't know barak's going for wrecker so i feel like i need something leanne's going for it, hopefully the talus as well okay cool so we at least have three of them barak will probably get it a little bit later on i imagine they have a term going for haven they have cauterize cauterize wrecker seems like the service is the same service from the last game because i think she's trying to play as like a damage again there is a shot onto him there's another one playing with the delay is going to be a little bit weird but let's go ahead and hit a rewind on the entire enemy team or at least both of the tanks he is actually nearly out well done team there's a 750 let me go ahead and get another one thank you very much i'm just going to sit over here and continuously get those 750s for free because they're not watching this angle obviously try and blink in a little bit there there's the wall the tiles went ahead and finished him off let's go ahead and throw a rewind just there i thought i'd be able to catch them occurring that but it was just the term let's just get some shots onto this term corvus is blinking away he should be dead here he's like surrounded there's no way he's going to survive there we go barrack is pushing up on the point let's go ahead and hit this mako with a rewind or the corvus yeah sure that's fine too how the hell was that headshot i don't know he's gonna blink over to here for some reason i missed the shot but he's totally still gone i don't know why he pushed up instead of retreating to his spawn there's a rewind that hit just the mako how did that not hit the vivian i don't know he's actually not looking too good i'm gonna go ahead and use my f to regen some health that put me in like the exact same spot so i might still be dead there's a joint rewind for the two tanks there is a shot there's the q i feel like going for this time was definitely a better choice i'm trying to body block a little bit here but it's not really working. Leon, I think, went for her role. I'm firing out some more shots. There is a rewind, although he absorbed that and it didn't rewind them. What the hell is going on? Kind of surprised I managed to survive there. Thank you, Corvus, for the heals. There is the Q and also an F. Spirit getting grabbed. There's a three or two man rewind. I feel like I should be getting three people in these and it's just giving me the two, which is kind of annoying. Leon is just saying Vivian is so annoying. I would very much agree. There's a hit. There's a rewind again to try and save the barrack. I'm in such a shit spot. I really kind of deserve to die. I should have stayed back with the team. My bad. It doesn't seem like we're even going to be able to get there to trigger the overtime so there is the push failed i was kind of hoping that talus would maybe be able to pull off a sneak push but i think he did try to and vivian caught him there's a two-man rewind that doesn't work i guess if it hits term it just straight doesn't rewind anybody even if the explosion radius has mccurr in it which is really dumb i'm gonna go ahead and pull up the alt there's a banish i don't know how the hell that went through his thing there's a banish let's get on on the mccurr as well cool that should guarantee his death there is a q and a rewind that hit both of them mccurr should be gone no he popped his all okay hello vivian there's my wall there's a shot maybe i can finish it off I should be healed by Ceres. I can still get some little 750s through to her, but I'm really going to be able to finish her off. Maybe we can hit her with a rewind. There we go. Oh, I didn't really put her low enough. There is my F, so I'm still alive. There's the objective loss. There's a rewind for those two. There's a hit into her. I missed that one because she moved just a little bit left towards the end of that animation. There's another shot onto her. She should be gone if I can just land this. I've every single time I've been able to hit around corners. Of course, the one time I need it to, it doesn't do it. There is my rewind. That's the term going for an ult. There's my wall to block it. There's a hit into him. He is gone. There's a rewind onto uh, the Corvus. 
this, so it didn't really help me very much. There's a hit into him, there's another one. I'm just gonna charge up this shot a little bit there. There you go, he's gone. Oh, yeah, like I was trying to say, they're on pretty big streaks. We got rid of the Makura in the turn, but Ceres is still on like 16. She's not really getting cleared very often. There is a dismount for the Makoa. There's a shot on two that Ceres. He's probably gonna hook. Yeah, there we go. He didn't get me. He got the Corvus, which is probably a worse. There's a rewind for him. Cool, he should still be just here though, right? Yeah, there's the 750. Not really sure why everybody pushed up there. That was a little bit strange. There's hits into him. There's a rewind for just the term. How does it affect just him? I don't understand the rewind with terms Q. It makes absolutely no sense. Why did I just rubber band so damn hard? I'm totally dead. There is my Q. I'm gone. What the hell was that play? That was so messy. Feels like half the time I throw my right click and it will rewind the term with his Q up. Other times it will rewind the person next to his Q, but not the term. And then sometimes it will rewind all of them. I don't get it. I'm trying to jump on here just to hold it. There is my Q. Cool. We're actually somehow getting this. There is a rewind that doesn't affect the Makoa because he's CC immune. There is my ult. Banish the Ceres. I don't know how I just fired out an effect and he absorbed it. How can you absorb that? It's meant to be hit scan, isn't it? I don't understand. There's a rewind for him though. Cool. He should be dead any second, right? I've got infinite ammo because of the card, so we're fine. He is out. There we go. Why did that only deal 400? Does he have that much damage reduction in his setup? I guess he's got 16% and then he's got a bunch from his, his absorption stuff, so yeah, I guess he could have absorbed that much. Didn't really expect to make such a long out this video today, but I hope you have been enjoying it so far. I'm just going to run straight onto the point, which is a different play than the one I've made every other time. There is the Q popping it a little bit earlier. There is a hit that didn't land. I feel like the lag is just working against me today. It's not actually helping me really at all. There is a rewind. There's a shot. There is my F. That is the Corvus is going for an all. I don't know how that didn't finish him off, but luckily the Corvus did. There some more hits. There's a rewind. Feel like I'm not really doing a very good job of predicting where my rewind is going to place somebody, but there's the Q. There's a hit on to her. Going to try and juke behind this again. There is a hit on him. He's on no health. There is a rewind. How did that not hit either of them? I, I don't get it. Okay, there is my F. It's only putting me up to 2.5k. There's a shot. There's another one. I'm totally gone. Corvus went ahead and threw the ult down. Makoa is once again not looking too good. He's pushing me around a little bit. There is my F. There's a rewind. Is that going to hit him through his shield? No. So I guess it doesn't go through shields for sure because it hasn't done that once, but I don't really understand how it works with Terms thing. There goes the Makoa. Let's finish off the term as well. If we can, he is nearly gone. He's being healed by the Ceres, but I'm behind him. So there we go. He's using his ult. I'm just going to go ahead and hit him with the rewind. That should put him right back down to zero, right? Yeah, there we go. Thank you for the free kill term. Get countered, my guy. But I was trying to say before I completely went off course is that Corvus has been doing a good job on heal, so I have to give him props. The frame rate dips are still really, really bad. There's a joint rewind. Nice. There's a hit for her as well as she gets thrown away. That is the Makoa chasing me down with the Corvus ult, so I am dead. What do I go for item-wise? I've got a little bit of Haven. I've got a little bit of Kronos. I'm just not really sure what to get next. Seems like our barrack only has Wrecker 2, which is rather weird. Hello, Makoa. There's some little cheeky shots for you. There is a rewind for just the Makoa, so it seems like it doesn't hit people out of a shield either. There we go. We got rid of a bunch of them, even though Corvus is still just kind of chilling there. Kind of annoying that the Makoa is CC immune, so I can't really rewind him. That was me trying to go for an ult, but then I got hooked out of it. Okay, there is a rewind for the Corvus. Seems like they're pushing this one in overtime. I did throw my Q in a bit of a shitty spot. That is the stun from the Ceres. There is my rewind to put me back up to full health. There's a rewind onto the Vivian. Jesus Christ, that was freaking clunky. There's a hit onto the Corvus. Tal is going for a flank. There's a hit onto the Ceres. There's another one. I actually landed the headshot on that, and she is not out because she healed. There is a rewind on the Corvus. Why is this so messy? Honestly, don't know. Let's go ahead and finish him off first. The tanks can't get healing. There we go. That should guarantee us a defense, right? There's a hit onto him. There is another one. Go ahead and rewind the Vivian back to where she came from. So we've got a little bit more time to clear these guys because for some reason we're having a real tough time. There we go. Okay, but this has been a really messy match so far. I've been recording for more than an hour, so my voice is starting to go, but I'm going to go ahead and grab a little bit of Kronos. There, Vivian has Master Riding too, but I think she's the only one with it. Yeah, she is. So we should be able to jump onto the objective first. Not actually sure if the term is playing or not because he was walking a little bit like a bot there. I'm pretty sure he is though, right? Is he? I, I don't know. I think the term might have actually been DC. So he's being hit by the Corvus thing. He's also being healed a ton. There's a rewind for him. Let's finish him off. That didn't hit. Are you kidding me? Go ahead and pop the ult. There's a banish. There's a banish. There's a banish. I don't really know what the point of me doing that was. There is a rewind for those two dudes. There's a hit on the Corvus. I'm totally dead any second. I can only hold this for so long. There is my F. That's Corvus going for an ult. I don't know why he bothered to use that on me. I was dead anyway. I'm kind of surprised I lived for as long as I did there. I will say I have felt a little bit helpless this match, but I'm going to go for a long flank just to hold this objective. I don't think the enemy team realized I was fighting him there for ages. There is a rewind for those two guys. There's my own rewind back up to full health. I'm totally still gone because I'm 1v5. There we go. There's the 99% and that is the defeat. I feel like they definitely do deserve that. So there we go. There are the stats for match three. Talus had a bit of a tough time. 713, 64k. Corvus did really good. Have to give him mad props. 83k damage, 130k heals. He did a great job. Leanne also did fine. Could have definitely done better, but didn't do badly. Barak, on the other hand, had a really bad stat. 617, 40k, 33k. I don't really know what he was doing for a bunch of that game. He only had record two. Maybe he was disconnected and got turned into a bot. I, 
I don't know, but that stat's pretty bad. Then on their side, Vivian did a really good job. Corvus did pretty decent. Term didn't do crazy, but he did have a crap ton of objective time. He had like a minute and a bit over us. Mokoa did a really, really good job. He kicked ass there, and I'd say the Ceres also did pretty decent, although probably could have done a tad better. I wouldn't say anybody on their side did badly, to be honest. They all took up their own role, whereas on our side, I'd say Talus was maybe a bit of a weak link. Same with Barak, and then Leon like a tiny bit, but overall, still a pretty decent match. So there we go. That was Atlas. I didn't really talk too much about the changes during the game because they were all a little bit hectic, but overall, I did actually notice that 0.1 second difference. I don't know if it's just because it was pointed out to me. I wonder if I'd have picked up on it if I didn't read it in the patch notes, but it does just feel like the slightest bit faster, and I'm sure those of you guys that play a ton of Atlas will definitely be able to tell the difference. On the other hand, the two seconds pulled off of setback was definitely noticeable, especially because I was playing with Deja Vu. I felt like I had that rewind up significantly more often, even if I wasn't using it to the best of its ability because I kind of messed up my rewinds a lot there. Yeah, thank you for watching, even if it has been a little bit messy. I hope you have enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. I'll see you all very, very soon. Let me know also what you want to see me do next. And as always, stay frosty.